just to the other side of the tree. Can you believe that? It was obviously quite cozy here last night. Hello, boy. <laughs> That's so funny. Here he is. Look at that. He has moved a hole of two meters. So three, he's yeah, basically maybe, maybe six foot almost. That's, that's it. He's literally just shifted to the other side of this fallen log. That's amazing. And he still looks like he's in a bit of a slumber. He hasn't opened his eyes. He's barely twitching his ears. And he's had a great sleep. So he'll be well rested. Now, the reason why maybe he didn't go hunting last night is Mvula, being the sneaky cat that he is, he often does move around during the day quite a bit. So he could have started just after safaris finished yesterday and had been missioning around for most of the day and then decided, no, it's time to take a sleep. I did not expect to find him here this morning. That was honestly the last thing that I thought we were going to get. It's not a bad spot though, there's a couple of them, I saw a few impala a little bit further back and some dacre in the grass, well not some dacre, a dacre in the grass. So hopefully if he does wake up, you'll have a good opportunity again to try and catch something because the wind is just starting to pick up. Hopefully the wind will blow the clouds away though because we don't want, we would love rain but we also don't have our rain covers on and if it does start to pour down that means we'd have to go home and we wouldn't be able to sit with this leopard because we'd have to go put the roofs on. So let's hope that that doesn't happen. And it sounds like all the guides are just starting to wake up now and get on with their adventures for this morning. The turtle doves are also singing their morning song. And that seems to be it for now. Now, Bobby, you're slightly concerned about Mvula. You're wondering if he's sick. No, not at all. Not after what we saw him doing yesterday. He looked in perfect condition, besides looking like he needs a meal, which uh, most of the time the cats actually look like that. Slightly on the thin side, but that's normal. And he was moving quite quickly. He wasn't limping. He didn't seem to have any obvious injuries. So, no, I don't think he's sick at all. I think he's just resting. Remember, after these cats do go out on a mission, um, I'm actually going to put my spotlight down. We don't need it anymore. And they do need some time to recover and build up uh, their energy again. So they will. They'll sleep for hours and hours. Remember, a lion can sleep for up to 22 hours in one go. Whereas, I suppose a leopard is just slightly less than that. But again, definitely sleep a lot longer than what I can. And, and nothing seems to bother him. I mean, he, ha he literally hasn't moved at all. But you'll be okay. He'll be fine. He'll probably wake up shortly. Let's see, or maybe he's going to sleep and do the same thing as what he did probably yesterday, wait for the safari to finish. What's your plan, Mvola? And he has definitely brought the rain with him. Can I please have that again, Alice? Sorry, I didn't hear what your last word is. I'm just going to fiddle with the volumes here. Oh, there we go. Liz, you said he looks so tense. Uh, I think he's maybe a little bit cold. He looks like he's curled himself up quite a bit. No, I don't think he, I think he's okay. I think he's fairly relaxed. He doesn't, he didn't really react to us at all when we arrived in the sighting, so I'm, I'm not worried with him. He's just being a leopard. You know what it's like, he probably feels like I felt this morning, sort of going, oh, do I really have to get out of bed? It's just so cozy here. And But in his defense, he's gonna have to get up if he wants to find something to eat. He couldn't be lazy. He doesn't have chefs that cook for him all the time so if he wants to eat and stop those hunger pains which i'm sure he's probably experiencing he'll have to muster up a bit of energy and go and search for something but he's sitting so still now as we sit here and he, i mean he is very still he's barely moving occasionally his ears are twitching and um, Michael, you have a question about arthritis and you're wondering if the big cats get arthritis just as house cats do. Most certainly, I'm sure that if anything, the big cats will get arthritis. Uh, I've seen it in 
a lioness from uh, the Southern Pride. We used to see her every single morning we would find the Southern Pride. She looked like she would limp slightly in one of her, I think it was her left front leg, if I'm not mistaken. I was trying to think of the sightings as she walked past and it was c consistent every single morning or when we'd see them waking up and then going on the move. She seemed to be stiff in her one leg. So I wonder if that wasn't a bit of arthritis because she'd then move around and you know, within half an hour to an hour, she was fine again, and she was walking like there was absolutely nothing wrong with her. So I'm, I'm, I'm sure that they do. It, you don't seem to see it out here. I haven't seen it too often. Nothing that can confirm it. But also, we don't spend a lot of big time, a, too, always too much time with these cats. Sometimes we go weeks and weeks without seeing them. But they are susceptible to things like this. Vula, please, can you wake up? You know what? We were so spoiled yesterday, I have to tell you, that when you sit and watch a sleeping cat, it's, uh, it's a bit sad. Now, Lady Starfire, you're wondering why would he just stay in this area for so long? It's just because it was the place that he decided to rest. Maybe, you know, if he also, if Tingana comes back and he comes barging through this area, because he normally does, he can quickly run into Bovel's Hook and move out of Tingana's territory too. That might be a reason he's hanging on the boundary and he's just tired. Like I said, I think he was probably walking for most of the day yesterday. He could have come from Simbambili side, somewhere around there, uh, or even Arethusa and come marching through. And he walked quite a, quite a far distance. He was on a mission. So I think he's just tired. I think he's just recuperating. Well, that's all. And this is a good spot. Lots of trees he can run up. If lions come past, you know, there's definitely plenty of escape routes. Not that a male leopard of his age is really thinking about those things. He's well experienced. <laughs> Kerry, you said he must be feeling pretty secure because he's not in the thickets anymore. I concur. I definitely think so. And he's sitting on, I think there was a, there's a termite mound sort of underneath the ground around there. You can see that the sand is quite slightly raised. So I wonder if it's maybe not giving off a bit of warmth. That might be another reason why he's perhaps sitting in that particular spot. You can't see it there, but on the other side, hidden behind those logs, when we were driving around there last night, I could see that it looked like there was a, a bit of a, a mound starting to develop. And remember, termite mounds and things don't just start on the top, they start developing underneath the ground, and eventually they push through. And we've watched squirrels do it quite often, where they'll sit on tops of the open chimney that you'll find in the mounds and if any of you have ever had the opportunity or you've watched a couple of our bushwalks and we'll often demonstrate how warm that air is that is coming out of those chimneys and I'm pretty sure the squirrels use that as a bum warmer too on those frosty cold mornings. The boons like to sit on them too there's definitely a lot of heat that is emitted from it so if I was an animal I'd go and sleep around one of those especially on a cold night. And it, it wasn't particularly pleasant last night. It was a little, the wind died down, it picked up again, the clouds came over. I mean, it's been spitting for most of the morning, so I'm sure it was doing the same thing last night. It's just now that the clouds are finally starting to rise higher up in the air, and the wind is blowing them away, which is good, because I don't know if I'm keen for this miserable weather. I prefer the blue skies in winter. We can have the clouds all through summer during our rainy season. But isn't it beautiful though? You just see all the, the last bits of orange leaves that are left on a lot of these bush willows. Even the silver cluster leaves now are starting to drop. And the golden colours of the grass. It's quite dramatic though, with that dark blue sky. And then of course, the spotted cat down below. It doesn't get much prettier than this. This is the greatest time of the year. I always say it. it's my favourite time of the year, the yellow season. Isn't this lovely? Now, John, are you wondering how do the leopards keep themselves cool in the, the uh, keep themselves warm in the cooler weather? Sorry. Well, they've got a coat. They've got lots of hair for that. So that typically keeps them nice and warm. They'll curl themselves up in a ball. They'll find an area that's sheltered if it is windy, because it's only the wind that's quite chilly. Um, and then again, I'm I'm pretty sure that they will utilize things like termite mounds too, because we often find leopards up on termite mounds, and I don't think that they're necessarily just using them as a vantage point. I think that. That sand is holding quite a bit of heat from the day and it's the same reason why we see snakes coming out onto the road in the cooler months so here in winter remember our animals don't really go into a permanent hibernation they sort of estivate and they'll move around and it's like I said it's not uncommon to see a snake on the road and again just absorbing that last heat of the day 
uh, that has that is down on the ground and in the sand. But he doesn't seem to be doing too much. We'll stick with him for a little bit and we'll see what he gets up to. Otherwise, I would like to still continue and try and find uh, the lions. I'm going to listen out to the radio and make sure and see if there are any guides that are wanting to come here that they do have an opportunity uh, to come and have a look. But right now, he hasn't really shown us any signs that he is going to be waking up. He has.